Let's jump into the fuel system and take a look at the schematic of how everything works and operates together. In the schematic I have right here, you're able to see the whole layout of the fuel system. I have only put up the main fuel lines together with the fuel pumps and the valves that operate from the five fuel tanks that I just mentioned. I will add to it the fuel line for the APU as well as the refueling and defueling lines in just a second. Let's keep it simple. In the A320, there are two fuel system options. The older and the newer version. The older version incorporates six electrically driven booster pumps located inside the center and inner wing tanks. Each wing tank has two fuel pumps and two fuel pumps are installed, as you can see here, in the center tank. The right side of the fuel system delivers fuel to engine number two and the left side delivers to engine number one. The pumps right here are not the same pumps as I mentioned in the presentation on the engines. I made it very clear on the engine presentation that those particular fuel pumps in the engine, the low and the high pressure pumps, are engine driven pumps within the engine itself. These fuel pumps are electrically driven and they're driven by AC power and allow fuel to be pushed to the engine with positive pressure to prevent cavitation. Each booster pump right here can be controlled by the overhead panel, but do operate automatically in normal operation. The fuel pumps right here are on continuously unless they're turned off manually from the overhead panel. As you can see right here, the outer tanks do not incorporate any fuel pumps. We are still able to hold fuel there and we're able to use the fuel, but instead of providing fuel pumps, we provide transfer valves here that at the right time will open, allowing the fuel from the outer tank to flow into the inner tank to then be used. These fuel pumps here are located within the fuel tanks at the bottom of the fuel tanks, which means they are submerged in the fuel and have the fuel surrounding them continuously, both for lubrication, but also for cooling. Each fuel pump has a feeder box built around it to ensure that when we have a low fuel level, Maneuvering the aircraft is not going to move the fuel away from the fuel pump, creating a scenario where you will draw air into the line or where the fuel pump here does not have the cooling and lubricating liquid around it as it needs. More on that in your ATPL theory in airframes and systems. The right and the left side of the fuel system is isolated from each other using a cross feed valve. The cross feed valve right here allows one side to feed from its own and the other side to feed from its own side. Should it become necessary, this two-way cross feed valve can allow fuel to be taken from the offset side to feed one engine only. We use this if we have an engine failure to ensure we don't get any imbalance on the aircraft. You will also notice that right here on the fuel line down to the engines, there is a valve. This is the low pressure shutoff valve that allows fuel to be shut off from the fuel system to the engine. This is operated by the engine master switches as well as the engine fire push button. We already covered this in the engine presentation on the fuel system. The center tank here has two electrically driven booster pumps. One feeds the right side and one feeds the left side. The APU connects to the left side of the fuel system. That means that when the APU is running, it is using fuel from the left side only. The cross feed valve will not open and it will drain fuel from the left side only. You can therefore have a slight imbalance within the tanks, which is perfectly fine during ground operation. 
the APU line here also has its own dedicated fuel pump as well as a fuel shutoff valve. The fuel shutoff valve is operated by the start switch on the APU panel overhead as well as the fire push button for the APU in case of malfunction or fire. The APU fuel pump is a dedicated fuel pump to the APU and is independent of the other fuel pumps in the fuel system. This fuel pump provides fuel feeding when the pressure in the system is low, hence for APU startup, and is powered by the AC essential shed bus. And if the shed bus fails from the AC static inverter bus, allowing APU operation even when we have electrical emergency configuration.